was this one? Oh, it's the lava one, but I'll do the gold vault one first. Okay, now let's actually do this mission. Oh, and as I showed off but didn't really explain, you use the D-pad to, like, cycle through the hats. I think that's really cool. Okay, and there goes the trails I could use. Oh, ticket one. She is a little brat. Oof. Oh, and I found another yarn. Yeah, I'm just gonna basically go around exploding stuff to collect more currency. Even though I probably should, like, go back to doing the mission and not waste so much time. I love these little rainbow auras that the yarns have to show their presence. The designers for this game really thought about just how to lay everything out and how to drop hints on where some things are for you to go get. They were also really creative about how you get some things, like this one. Yeah, and there's one over here too. There is so much shit in this level, and unlike Ukulele where only the first level was enjoyable and the rest was kind of hit and miss, every level in Hat in Time is pretty rock solid, thankfully. Oh wait, gotta, gotta save this guy from the Mafia and he'll give us a yarn. Oh come on, get out of my way. There we go, thank you. Ah, I love the level design in this game. Makes it so satisfying to find things. Okay. Where does this trail go? Oh, follow this trail right now. There it is. How'd I miss it? I was right here a few seconds ago. Oh no, wait, I was at a lower level. Never mind. Ah, the wall climbing is so cool. Oh yeah, triangle or Y if you're using an Xbox controller gives you an option to look up. I think it's all the way over there. Down here. Oh. Screw off. Is the ticket down here? Kinda lost track of the trail. Yeah, it is. Dang. I remembered that. Oh, here's the winter power up that we don't have just yet. It gives you like a cool snuggly little beanie. Okay. Where's the last one? Oh yeah, it is on one of the bungee things. Well, little tight ropes that you could jump on. Oh bye! This character is adorable. Yeah, the stuff you can explode are gonna be like shining or just have like this yellow thing on it. This yellow aura or whatever it's called. And the explosion's really satisfying. The art style in this game is super dope. Okay, and that is that mission done and over with. Open up. Timepiece number five? Six. Okay. I think there's one more timepiece we could get before we head to level two. Heating up Mafia Town. Yep, this one's surrounded in lava. Again, I really like these loading screens with the 2D artwork. Looks really nice. Look at mess! This is terrible! Someone turn on all faucets in Mafia Town! Wh what? Faucets that control the town volcano! Mafia think he saw a little girl. Oh, nice hint. Okay, fine. Ah, it has little, like, things on screen to show you where the faucets are. Shit! Nah. Well, at least I made it up here. That worked out k kinda well. It's one out of, uh, I think six. Can I make it to the tightrope? Barely. Okay. There's a heart right there, so that didn't matter. This one's out there. Oof, tight jump. Ah, oh, what the hell? Oh, you could pass through that thing. Okay. That's useful. Oh, a coin. Those little coins can help you, like, unlock more bonus levels in the hub area. The music here is really well done. I think the soundtrack in this game is really colorful. Even though calling music colorful probably doesn't make any sense. But it's the best word I can use at the moment. Ah, uh, okay. Just barely made that. Okay. Number three. You can't spin them while you're on top of it. You also can't hit while you're crouching. Hmm. Three. Three. Oh, can I make that? Nope. Well, that helped me at least, kind of. Oh, nice. That was a super tight jump, but I got it. Yeah, that's basically what this mission consists of. Avoiding lava and making some super tight jumps. And this water right here isn't having any effect on the lava. 
Oh no. Ooh. There's a thing right there that I can't collect because I don't have a specific hat yet. Unless I could do a little trick. Get it by jumping off the trees. Which I've done before, don't worry. I know what I'm doing! There we go. Alright, back to the mission. Oh yeah, everything's on fire! Okay, I think another faucet's right here. Alright, there's one down there. Dive move is awesome. Yeah, you guys are gonna see that a lot in this playthrough, but I really love that dive move. Oh, jeez. That's a tight thing to walk through. Can I do it, though? Let's see. Oh my god. Uh. Oh, oh okay, that kind of worked. Oh man, am I stuck? Hope I'm not stuck. Like, they intentionally put this thing right here to tempt my curiosity. And now I'm out. Down here. Leap of faith. And I made it. Okay, I think that's one more to activate now. Where is it? It's over there. It's, ah, heading in the wrong direction. Whoops. Uh, ah. I have no idea what type of style this music is. I'm just gonna be generic and say it's called Egyptian music? Or whatever it's called. But it sounds really nice in this level. I like it. And there's the last timepiece for... Mafia Town. Well, the last one for now, at least. Oi. 7 out of 40. Good. Oh, I now have access to the third level if I wanted to go to it right now. I think I'll just unlock these for now. So I don't hear that obnoxious, like, beeping sound effect every time I walk in the hub area. Alright. And this is, like, where the bedroom is. Where the haunted level's at. Yeah, there's only, like, five levels in this game. But they put a lot in all of them to make this a really long eight-hour adventure. It's even longer if you're going after all the time pieces. Another time rift! Knew it. Okay, so that wasn't the last Mafia Town time piece that I needed. And here's another one, but I can't go to it right now. Well, I could go to it, but I just can't get the time piece for now. So, I'll just stick to the time rift, and that's where it is. Okay. For the time rifts, go to, like, the version of the level that's the most open. So I go to the Golden Vault because you have access to the whole hub area. Just gotta walk around until I find something that vaguely looks like what the pause menu is telling me. Okay, I think I'm way too low. Pretty sure it's way higher up, if I remember correctly. Let me use the running hat. Ah. The running hat's pretty dope. Oop. Got injured by fire again. Yeah, I think if I remember correctly, I'm getting pretty close to it. Or maybe I just looped around. Yeah, I think I did. All the head and time aficionados are gonna be watching this playthrough like, What the heck? You passed by it! And I'm like, dude, I cut out all the shit where I messed up or just nothing happens. So, there's no point into complaining about it. <laughs> there's one specific set piece that'll help guide me to where I need to go to find the time rift. I just gotta find the set piece and then I will find the time rift again. I do know where it is, it just takes forever for me to find it sometimes when I haven't played this game in a while. And yep, I found it. It is right... here. Bam. I missed it when I jumped at it, whoops. Time Rift number two! Bazaar! This is probably my favorite music track in the game. The bonus level stuff, the Time Rift music. It's just a beautiful piano piece. Also, hmm, this segment look familiar? It looks like they ripped it straight out of Mario Sunshine. This part of the game definitely gives me, like, the most Sunshine vibes. Oh shoot! Ah. Can I make it? Yeah! Save myself. The wall jump is super useful, especially when you're, like, good at playing this game like I am and you know how to use it fluently. And number eight! Now I think I'm done with Mafia Town and I could head to the next level. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, no, don't want that color. What? The same color? Really? Come on, give me something new. Yeah, I'll get the bow tie. 